Well, uh, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I, I think the guys, I mean, every year there's lots of turnover in the AHL. Um, you know, I've been with, this, like you said, the same organization for, uh, for five years now. So you've seen a lot of guys come and go, but uh, we got a great group of guys in the locker room. Um, super excited. You know, guys, uh, guys have gotten the chance to play in the NHL and ecstatic for them. Um, and yeah, I mean, at the end of the year, it um, wasn't what we wanted. We wanted to continue to play uh, well into June. But um, when we look back, there was a lot of successful things that happened throughout the year. And for you individually, what are some of the highlights? Again, you were, a, you were an all-star. You were a, an anchor on that back line for Ontario and certainly a lot of trust. The team captain, as I mentioned, uh, what were some of the finer points for you personally? Um, I mean, like you said, the, the AHL um, all-star game was obviously a, a pretty cool experience again. Um, but uh, just to you know, watch the young guys have success, you know, Brodzinski getting his first call-up, Kempe getting his first call-up, um, some of the younger guys developing throughout the year, um, you know, Les and McDermott really coming into their own as the season progressed. Um, yeah, you know, watching these guys develop and uh, improve as players and as people is just, it's really cool to see. And during your, your black and white episode that the Kings uh, featured you on, head coach Mike Stuthers had a lot of praise for you, saying that like, this is a guy that's, you know, just ready for his NHL call-up and ready to go. I mean, for you, what do you feel like you need to add, if anything, to, to push yourself and get that phone call? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you just need to keep developing and keep improving. Um, you know, I uh, wasn't fortunate enough to get a uh, call up this year. Um, but that's how it goes. Uh, that's, that's the nature of the game. Um, but, uh, you know, it wasn't an unsuccessful season because of that. You know, like I said, I st still thought as a team we had a great season. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, it, just developing and keep getting better as a player. Now, I noticed in, um, on your uh, contract status, unrestricted free agent, you said you've been with this organization a while. The, the management's changing from within as well. Is this still a place that you, you'd love to call home? I know you've had a lot of ties to the Inland Empire, or is this an opportunity for Vincent Lavery to, to see what the world has for him? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I love playing here. I love this organization. They've been, uh, they've been top notch for me throughout my years. Um, you know, it's one of those things you're going to have to wait and see, but uh, at the end of the day, I absolutely would like to come back. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see what's out there and, uh, you know, kind of go from there throughout the year. And then your summer. I know uh, you call Chicago home. You have a lot of anchors there and a lot of friends there. But uh, what does the summer hold for you and uh, any fun vacations or maybe just kicking it up by Lake Michigan? Uh, a lot of weddings, uh, a couple of bachelor parties. Um, I, I actually don't go to Lake Michigan that often, uh, to be honest with you. Um, hang around North Avenue Beach a little bit. Uh, no, a lot of. Weddings, bachelor parties, going to uh, Punta Cana. Um, so, got a couple of vacations planned. Uh, you know, summer, you know, you're, as you get older, your schedule fills up pretty quickly in the summer. So, you don't have very many free weekends, so you tend to enjoy them. Um, just looking forward to seeing friends and family when I get back, to be honest. So, I got to admit, people tend to speak for you. Like, all right, well, you're done, so you're coming to this. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, you look at your schedule, I don't even have a free weekend this, yeah, uh, this month. Yeah, you're good luck.